Hey what's up everybody, this is Panaris so and welcome back to another episode of Fortnite. Today we're going to be getting into the Fairy Tale of Home Base, which is the next mission in the Holiday Survivor questline. In this mission we're going to have to go around and collect these books so that each of the different characters can tell a story, I'm guessing, about Home Base. Now on to what else we're going to be doing today. We're going to be using the Snowstalker Jonesy. He's one of the new heroes released. Now, if we take a look at his skills, we see his three core abilities are Frag Grenade, War Cry, and Shockwave. Now, he gets some buffs on the grenade. In Alossal, he gets some upgrades just by killing enemies. So, at level 5, he gets a new ability called Explosive Rounds. Now, what Explosive Round does is, after you kill 10 enemies, it does a certain amount of damage in a one tower radius and just like the outlanders ability that we looked at in the other video if you don't get a kill in 15 seconds the count will reset now i mentioned that he had buffs to grenades as well so at level eight he gets pull the pin which reduces the cost of frag grenade by 30 and he also gets a new ability at level 12 called grenade generation and now for this time, it's every 30 kills with the ranged weapon will give him back one frag grenade. And just like with the last two abilities, after 15 seconds without a kill, it resets. So let's hop into the mission we're going to be doing today. I'm probably going to have to do this in two parts. Basically, that's how it's been going. So as soon as I'm done finding all the books in this Rescue the Survivor mission, I'm probably going to load it up again and go through it again. So let's get into it. Okay, let's get into it. So I gotta say that I'm not a huge fan of this helmet, but I definitely wanted to show you guys the full body, both the backpack and the helmet. So I think the first Commander, book is going to be over I here. I know the perfect way to get everyone into the holiday spirit. When I was small, we'd all gather by the fire and read holiday stories. I've already started a roaring fire. I'll track down the Coco. You two work some literary magic. All right. We're making memories here, people. All right, let's get started on the story. Here we go. What have we got here? The Holiday Land murders. Yeah, not quite the mood we want to hit. All right, so let's save the survivor real quick so I can show you how he works a bit. And then we'll go on to the next one. I'll reload. All right, so I'll see if you can see the explosion once I hit 10 kills. I'm gonna make sure I toss a grenade every now and then so you guys can see me get a grenade back. It might be hard to see just based on the fact that grenades are gonna be coming back regardless in the meantime. So we'll see. One thing I like about the shockwave is that it will slow anybody I hit down by 30%. Oh, let's get over here. I'm not sure if I got 10 kills yet, but let me toss another grenade. Alright, that's gonna break soon. Now I gotta be a little bit careful. Let's use Warcry, just so I can get that extra damage. Well, don't, don't do that, thank you. Might as well just take out this encampment, seeing that it's in the way between our next one. Okay, good. Encampment down. Let's grab this, and let's get the next part of our story. Okay, crap, I have to go help this person first. And then I'll grab the next part of our story. Uh, come on, get up there. Oh, another car person? Alright, we can do this. Let me toss this down first. Slow a bunch of them down. I'm hoping you guys will be able to see the explosion. Because it's, it's only in a one tire radius. So unless I actually hear it, I might not be able to show you. But in editing, if I do see it, I'll probably put an arrow like I normally do to bring you guys' attention to it. Alright, let's use Shockwave real quick. Ooh, that's a lot. Let me throw another grenade. At first, I really liked the grenade arc, but now I don't think I like it too much. Mainly for the fact that it sort of ruins how your shooting goes. Like when you're aiming for your grenade. Alright, let's grab the next part of the story. Additional shades of Krampus. Publishers fine says, look, it's the same thing, but with Krampuses. I'll take that. Judge all you want. 
Alright, so this story is going to be about Krampus, or is that just the first story? Who knows? Let's grab this. Oh, I don't know if you guys have seen the new Blue Glow bot. So normally when you did these missions, you would get this survivor here on a bed, but they recently added these guys, and you'll see what happens when I get find the two Blue Glow to give them. It definitely reminds me of, of Iron Giant. If you guys have never seen that movie, you definitely should get on that. Now while I'm here, I'm probably going to build this as well. Just because this counts as a survivor. So let's see, how far do we have to go? That's not too bad. Let's start here, and then work my way up. I like to go right about here, and then just wrap around. It doesn't really take that many materials, so it's not that big of a deal. Come on. I always have to press it a couple of times. Now, this is another cool thing you can do when you have Shockwave on your soldier. Is that you can jump off of any building, or any surface, but as soon as you almost hit the ground, press Shockwave, and you won't take any fall damage. I'm not sure how many people actually know about that, but that's a good tip to have. Oh, some lag. I think someone's coming in. Come on. There we go. Alright, so I got one blue glow. I gotta find another one for that guy over there. Let me kill these guys for my ninja friend. Alright, looks like we got another story, I'm guessing, down here. Or is it above us? Nope, it's below us. Alright, let's go grab this. Alright, next story. Snow holds barred, the brief and terrible history of ice wrestling. I love it. Not sure if that'll work for everyone. Oh, okay. So I get it. So we're not actually telling a story. What we're actually doing is just finding these books. I'm guessing people can tell their own stories. Interesting. Okay, so we know the guy's up here, unless somebody already grabbed him. I think somebody already grabbed him. Let's see. Yep, somebody already grabbed him. I can't show you, but I will collect more blue glow just to see. All right, let's get over here and save this person. Get some more combat. Oh, okay, one of these. Well, I do have some help. Because every time I do one of these with this guy, the bus usually breaks. I don't know what it is about this guy, but I, I'm leaning more towards Outlander as my favorite hero in this thing. Why is there always an encampment next to these things? If you guys have any of the new heroes, tell me who's your favorite. Because like I said, I definitely think it's going to be the Outlander. Wow, he got all of that. That ninja's so powerful. Alright, let's use this. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I think someone's telling us that there's a storm chest around. So let me see where this person is. Over there. Alright. So let's tell this person I'm on my way. Let's grab this next part of the story. Or this next book, I should say. Compendium of Holiday Irony, Volume 6. Featuring the couple who died of presents. And Slushy, the indoor-outdoor snowman. The couple but that died of users. presents. That sounds awful. <sighs> Hold on. How did presents kill them? I don't even know. Alright guys, I'm back. So one on my way to the storm chest, one of these present things dropped down. So I'm actually going to try to help out here and get this down because every time you do one of these you get a hundred storm tickets so I might as well help out with this and then I can show you because this is actually a huge fight all right so there we go it's gonna damage all our stuff anyway so we might as well just get ready come on all right let's repair all this stuff all right, let them repair. Let's get ready to fight. Smash these guys. All right, hopefully in this section, I can show you exactly how the damage works with this guy. Oh, got to stop them. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. All right, let's use Warcry. Let's give everyone a little bit more damage. I haven't noticed the explosion at all. I don't know if you guys have. I'm trying to listen out for it, but I haven't I haven't heard it. 
Let's throw another grenade. Come on. Cool. Smasher. Nope, slow down, buddy. Alright, you're down. Let's toss a grenade at them. There we go. Ooh, good grenade. This guy was mine. I'll take him. Yeah, one thing you gotta know about those guys is melee damage. They hate melee weapons. By far. Yeah, that explosion there was the was what we were looking for. But it's really hard to see in the storm, and it's not really that far of a radius anyways. To make it that scene, unfortunately. If the radius is maybe one and a half tiles, you might be able to see the effect a little more. Alright, let's go grab our presents. Alright, thank you. And let's get out of here. Alright, so there was a storm chest over here. I think I still want to go over there and grab the, do that storm chest. And then I'm going to go and grab the next storybook. Because it looks like we're only going to be able to get five in here. Looking on the map, there's one right down there that I'm probably... It's probably going to be the last one. And then I'll load up the next match. Alright, here we go, guys. Storm chest. We got to kill 50 of these guys in one minute. I think with this ninja, we'll get there really quickly. Let's use Warcry. Yeah, we're already at 27. I'm trying to show you guys this explosion, if I can. Yeah, there it was right there. Hopefully that was good enough to show you guys how small of a radius the explosion is. Oh, Miss Monsters. Oh, wait, we got the 50 already. Come on. There we go. Nice. Nope. Alright, now that that's done, let's go and grab our last storybook. Alright, our last book's in here. Let's grab this. The new Canny Encyclopedia, Edition H. How perfect is that? We've got entries for holidays, holly, hearths, home, cats, hummus. Okay, diminishing returns, but still a good list. Okay, cool. So that's going to be oh, all for me. this mission here. I'm probably going to load up the next mission now, and we'll get right into it. Hey, everyone. Here we are in the second match. We're actually coming up to our first storybook now. Pretty sure it's in this basement somewhere. Let's get down here and grab it. All right. What's our next story? <laughs> how the Grunch stole one eighth of Hanukkah. I wonder how he managed to do that. All right. Let's head to the next one. Let me know in the comments what your favorite weapon from this event is. Because right now, it's definitely this shotgun. But... This rocket launcher I have is also pretty good. I'll show you if we get into one of those, another fight. Let's grab this next book. I know I could just go through that door, but where's the fun in that? What's roasting on an open fire? The true life story that inspired the chimney monologue from Gremlins? I knew it was true. <laughs> These story names are actually pretty creative. Now, the thing I love about this launcher is its special ability, which is to stun groups of enemies. So, as you can see there, I just shoot into that group, and I can stun the lot of them. Well, let's, let's use this to save this woman. And it seems to pierce targets a bit, as you see there. I don't know. It's really cool. And then I can switch to this, and then I can use it to get that extra damage from... Oh, no. Seriously? I lost her? That's annoying. I already saved her, but it, because I didn't talk to her, I ended up losing her. Alright, let's go save this guy before we get that next book. Just to make up for that. Now, the damage on this is not really high. Its main ability is the stun. Oh, there was an explosion right there. Now, if you guys notice, I'm not shooting it directly at the enemies. I'm sure of shooting it past them. 
just so that it can get that effect. I love it. <laughs> it's so good. Alright, let's use Warcry to get some extra damage on it. Yeah, and now when I now that they're stunned, I could have switched to my shotgun to finish them off. Is there another thing? Oh no, that house just opened. Let's just toss a grenade there. Alright, let's save this person before they get killed out of nowhere. Alright, we got a book over here. Let's go grab this book. Excuse me. Public domain holiday songs. Oh, celebrate responsibly, I always say. <laughs> okay. Now we should have two more. I see one up in this direction. Now let's see where the, the the other one must be somewhere north in that foggy zone. All right, we're coming up on another book here. Let's grab this. Survivor in danger. What? Oh, okay, I thought she wasn't going to say anything. Perfect. Ray's going to love it. I mean, really, really love it. We should probably get spare. To the arsenal. Oh, that sounds <laughs> weird. Maybe she's going to read it too much. Who knows? Let's go save this person over here if I can. Let's start shooting early. Oh, I can't. Crap. Can I save this person? We sure will try. Come on, we got this. That was the explosion right there. I don't know why it procs so early. That's kind of awesome it procs that early. Because I don't think I killed 10. Maybe I did. Who knows? Alright, let's see what else we can get into. We have one more book, I believe. Yeah. Let's see if Ray has anything to say after we find all these books. And then the very next thing we need to get... Well, our prize for the next mission is actually the new snowball launcher. I cannot wait to show you guys the snowball launcher. Because I've seen a lot of it based on the BR videos that I watch. Set on the Frost Assure Express. Polar bear detectives investigate. Dire ghost warnings that lead to a thrilling wizarding school showdown. I will cherish this book forever. Oh man, how did I already spill cocoa on the cover? I'll just dry that off real quick. Oh no 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 no! I threw it in the roaring fire. Oh my God, Ray. Uh, here's a backup copy. <laughs> Happy holidays, Ray. So that's what she meant. Bye, get two copies. That's awesome. Alright, so let's save a couple more survivors. And then I think we're gonna end this episode. Oh, that's definitely a bummer. I'm confused. Is this guy not saving anybody? He's just walking around? Because that's the third survivor to die. That's unfortunate. Let's see if I can save some more people. Because the most you can save is nine. And that knocks three off our list. So we're probably only going to get to six extra if we're efficient enough. Yeah, he's just farming. Nope. That character right there is perfect for farming. Alright, so the combo I wanted to show you, I actually can't show you on the small guys, but I could show you on this guy. So as you guys know, the shotgun I'm using gets more damage when the target's stunned. So I'm going to try to stun this guy here, and then switch to my shotgun. And he's dead. Oh well. <laughs> we'll see if we can find a bigger target. Oh, awesome. Now I can actually show you what the new medbot looks like. And what happens after you put the new blue glow in. Well, put the blue glow in. It's not new. Alright, here we go. So he heals up the guy, and then... He just blasts off, <laughs> Iron Giant style, right into the sky. <laughs> Alright, so we got one bonus survivor. Hopefully we'll be able to get a couple more. Oh, we got another one of these guys up here. Let's just help him out real quick. I'm glad I picked up some blue glow along the way. Another one saved. All right, let's head off. Oh. 
And that's what happens when you time it wrong. So I think that's going to bring us to the end of this episode. I'm probably going to have the rocket launcher, the grenade launcher, by the time my next video comes out. I'm pretty sure you've already seen it, but I can't wait to get my hands on it. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like and consider subscribing. If you didn't, however, leave a comment. Let me know why. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Later.